ready? We're ready. Okay. My name is Howard Tolman. I'm the CEO of 1871. We're honored and pleased today to have a group of people that we've worked with closely over many, many years, including uh, one of our favorite uh, clerks, uh, who will be speaking to you in just a few minutes. But right now, I just want to take a moment to introduce Seamus, and he will explain what we're doing here today and give you sort of a, an overview of this uh, new and very exciting initiative. We think that the more that we can do to introduce kids to coding and to the methodology and to the thought processes around the development of code and to combine that specifically with the development of laws is a really exciting opportunity for the city and one that's going to be a powerful example for the whole rest of the country. So Seamus, please. Howard. Right. Thank you guys. Hey guys, good afternoon. I'd like to welcome everybody to the launch of Envision Chicago. It's a new, a new initiative for the internet age, but one that's based on very, very old principles here in Chicago. That in order to have a healthy democracy and a thriving community, we must educate and engage with the next generation of our city's leaders. We must set a strong example for how city government should work. And we must recognize that the best ideas can come from anywhere and that they must be brought before the city council for consideration. Now, it's never been easy to make this stuff happen, democracy. It is, as Winston Churchill said, the worst form of government, except for all the other ones. <laughs> but as technology and the internet are improving our personal lives and our work lives, we need to bring that power and that promise to our civic lives. That's what we do here at the Open Gov Foundation, the nonprofit I have the great good fortune to lead. My name is Seamus Craft, and together with these amazing leaders behind me, and our incredible supporters with some talented teachers in Chicago's public schools. Uh, we're here to send a clear message to young Chicagoans. It's time to start sharing your ideas. It's our time to listen to you and engage with you and bring municipal government into the digital age. Now thank you, 1871 and Howard, uh, for having us here today. Uh, if you don't know, Howard has done as much, if not more, than anyone else in the city to bring local startups to this place and attract international and national innovators, entrepreneurs, and internet age dreamers. Thank you. Um, so Envision Chicago is launching today in four wards, in four amazing high schools and with four amazing aldermen. So thanks to the Marine Leadership Academy at Ames in Ward 26, to the Chicago Excel Academy in Roseland in Ward 34, to the Taft High School in Ward 41, and to Lakeview High School in Ward 47, represented here, by Kristen Hu, and by some of her amazing students. You wave and recognize you're what this is all about. You guys rock, thanks for coming. Um, now, Vision Chicago would not be possible without the help and encouragement of our community-based supporters. Thank you, Microsoft Chicago. Thanks, Adam. Smart Chicago Collaborative, Haymarket, and ComEd for sponsoring these scholarships. Thank you to Comcast for generally, generously donating free internet access for so many students in the city. And thank you to the Chicago Public Library, Commissioner Brian Bannon, and the awesome folks at the Mikva Challenge for lending us your support and welcoming us to this hometown. But I, another big thanks I need to give to the intrepid, innovative, and awesome aldermen here with us today. Chairman Austin, Alderman Napolitano, Alderman Maldonado, and Alderman Poir, thank you for standing with young Chicagoans, for helping to bring the city council into the digital age and for showing elected officials everywhere that there can be a better way to engage with your citizens. But I want to give a special thanks to the woman right behind me, to the city official who's the heart and soul of Envision Chicago, and who stands at the center of so many good government efforts in Chicago. The person who first brought me and the Open Gov Foundation into this community back in 2013, and the person who's welcomed us like true friends, true partners, and true family ever since, Clerk Susanna Mendoza. It seems that everything Clerk Mendoza touches gets better, cooler, and happier. From her world-class staff, hey guys, I see you, to the city sticker system, to the law itself you can now see opened in the internet age format at chicagocode.org. Now during this time of great political upheaval, some of which has visited our town today, and big time budgetary challenges in cities and states, Clerk Mendoza is a shining star She's always solving seemingly intractable problems and doing it with a smile. Oh, by the way, she's spearheading the creation of the first 21st century legislature anywhere in the world. 
Now, I spent a lot of time with a lot of elected officials, and there is no one in the world I'd rather have riding shotgun on this grand adventure to repair the critical infrastructure of Chicago City Council <coughs> so that it can become more efficient and effective and serve its citizens better. Come on up here, Coach Mendoza. Thank you, sir. I felt like crying, it was so nice, oh my lord. Uh, well thank you Seamus, and I wanna say thank you to uh, Howard Tolman. He is such a rock star that no matter how much of a rock star I say he is, it doesn't truly encapsulate how much of a rock star this guy is. So you guys should all get his autograph and take pictures of him because trust me, he is like the coolest guy standing in this room besides Seamus for saying all those really nice things about me. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm a huge fan, so every time I get to come to 1871, it's exciting for me. I, I feel like you just walk out of this place smarter than you were when you came in. You're always learning something new, and you're always on the cutting edge of what's cool and great about technology, and uh, certainly the digital age that we all live in. Uh, yesterday, my three-year-old son uh, picked up his the remote control, which looks like a little kind of like, like a game piece or something, turned on our Comcast cable, so I just wanted to throw out a shameless plug, but, um, and he's three and he knows how to operate that thing better than my husband, who is a total technologist, myself and my mom, who still can't figure it out, she's 81, but he learned how to like access his own Netflix and everything at three, and we didn't even teach him, like he just figured this out, but it just, is it's proof of how when people are not afraid of technology and that they enjoy like playing around with it, like so many things are possible and that's what your generation is representing. I mean, you live in a completely digital age where um, you, you know, like your kids will not know what it is to use a regular phone. They're not going to know what it is to just call their girlfriend and talk to her without seeing her picture or seeing her talking live. Like it's just kind of so cool to see everything that's, uh, that's being transformed before our eyes, and you guys are gonna be a part of that when it comes to the code. So I do wanna thank Seamus and primarily OpenGov Foundation for this partnership that we have. I'm so proud of the work that we've been able to accomplish together, and it will undoubtedly have a huge impact on governments across this country. I'm super excited to be here today talking about Envision Chicago. I truly believe that the civic engagement that we're encouraging you to take part in is one of the most important steps that we can take to make Chicago the best city that it can be. You know, as clerk, I'm constantly trying to promote this type of civic engagement. The best way to do that is to get Chicagoans involved at your age or even younger. Um, they, they're the future, obviously, aldermen like we have here right now. They're the future senators, they're the future mayors, and possibly we might even have a future president. It's not unheard of that we have someone from Chicago mm -hmm. go on to you know, the really big house, so uh, it's exciting. But too often these young people feel very disconnected from government. And I believe that this starts with the feeling that the laws that govern them seem impossible to access. And so in a world where almost everything they need to know is a simple Google search away, and most of their opinions are shared by simply pressing the post button on Facebook or wherever else, Twitter, why can't legislation function in the same way? So Envision uh, Chicago sets out to change this. It puts the law at the, their fingertips, and it allows them to participate in the legislative process in a way that speaks to them most effectively through technology. We're giving students direct access to the City of Chicago City Council because learning about our elected officials and how government works is actually the best way to affect positive change and innovative policy in our city. Chicago has never been known as a city of true transparency. Chicagocode.org will change this. It will revolutionize the way our citizens interact with legislation. What was once considered best left to lawyers will now be in the hands of anyone with access to the internet. I believe that the very first step to a brighter future is a clear understanding of the law. We set out to prove this through Envision Chicago. We won't stop there. While we are starting small, it's our hope to expand the program to all 50 wards. And what better way to challenge ourselves than by giving every student in every corner of this beautiful city the chance to participate in something so cool. That being said, I'd like to thank my fellow colleagues from the City Council who are participating in this initial launch, this birth of Envision Chicago. Uh, Alderman Carrie Austin, I think, is on her way. Alderman Roberto Maldonado from the 26th Ward is right here. 
boom, right there. Um, Alderman Amaya Pawar is not here. I'm not sure if he's going to make it today, but he is awesome and like a very, very cool alderman. And Alderman Anthony Napolitano is right here too. Boom. And he looks awesome in a beard, by the way. Um, but let me just say that your willingness to participate has allowed us to get this program um, off to a great start. And I can't thank you enough for instilling your confidence in the program and also in me over the last four years, five years, I've gotten to work with my dear friend, Roberta Maldonado, and also with uh, our wonderful alderman in the 41st, right? Yeah, um, Alderman Napolitano. So I'd also like to acknowledge the four Chicago public schools. I know Seamus mentioned you, but let me give you a little bit better shout out. Not better, but an additional shout out. Uh, and the students who are taking part in this inaugural round of Envision Chicago. Thank you, Taft High School in the 41st Ward. Thank you, Lakeview High School, right over here, right? We got Lakeview in the house, um, in the 47th Ward. Thank you to the Marine Leadership Academy in the 26th Ward, and Chicago Excel Academy of Roseland in the 34th Ward. You were chosen because your respective alderman believes that you're essential to the success of the city of Chicago. And I believe that they're correct, and we look forward to seeing the finished product. We really, truly do have a lot of faith in you and we're excited about what you're going to come up with. So last but not least, I'd like to thank our sponsors. Your generous donations will help these students be able to continue on to um, a higher education. And let me start by saying thank you to Microsoft. Thank you to Smart Chicago. Thank you to Haymarket. Thank you to ComEd. And thank you to Comcast. And I know that Seamus mentioned that they're going to be giving away uh, to 50 students free internet for six months, but they're also giving away two uh, laptop computers, and that's pretty exciting stuff. So allowing uh, these students to have access to the internet in communities where they just might not or not have the economic means to have that, something many of us take for granted, but they've always been there uh, with their internet essentials program, and I'm excited to have been a part of that as well. Um, thank you for your investment in these uh, young individuals' future. Uh, your returns, I promise you sponsors, are not only guaranteed, but they will be immeasurable. Uh, as I mentioned before, calling on our youth is the most effective way to promote civic engagement. In the words of W.B. Yates, education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. And we're confident that Envision Chicago will be that spark that our students need to light their civic fire. Thank you very much again for being here, and thank you uh, for your support. And let's let's do this thing right. And I want to see what you guys got. All right. <laughs> um, I would love it if the alderman would like to say a few words. Maybe alderman of all time. Sure. I'll make mine really brief, but uh, I am so happy to be a part of this. I was uh, I was floored to be brought along. Uh, the way I look at it is, everyone knows that most of our information now comes from the internet. And uh, it is just a button click away. But the best thing about this program is it's a lot more user friendly. Um, and I think that's what's been scaring people away from the internet is yeah, the information is there, but how to get through it was, was the frightening part. So uh, what I really like about this program is it's gonna help people kind of walk them through it and it's gonna give them the ability to actually, um, to correspond back and forth with people on their new ideas and their different solutions. And that's the only way to make government better is to bring more people and make make more people get involved and hear their voice. So thank you very much for having me. I'm, I'm more than excited to be a part of this. Thank you. Thank you, Clark, and thank you for your leadership uh, in this initiative and to Envision Chicago and to 1871 for hosting uh, this event here. I have to tell you, <clears throat> if you have ever tried to read a statute passed by the legislature or an ordinance by the city council, your immediate compulsive reaction would be to close the book because it is, you cannot understand a word that is written there unless you are an attorney. In my staff, my chief of staff, she is an attorney. Every time that I need to draft or want to draft an ordinance, I depend on her. So this initiative to translate that legal mumble jumble into plain English for, so that all of us can once and for all understand what it is passed in laws that governs our behavior in our society is something out of this world. So again, I thank um, um, Envision Chicago, um, 
opening up a foundation for <coughs> for developing this device, and I'm looking forward for that competition <coughs> to see and make sure the Marine Leadership Institute wins. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to tell you on a personal note, my brother, um, who is now deceased for more than 10 years, he was a teacher at Lakeview, uh, a math teacher, uh, Jose Maldonado. So if you look up, if you look him up uh, in the in the yearbooks, you're gonna find him. He had a big, big afro in the 70s when he taught there. A math teacher, and, and he was an avid computer uh, computer guy. So, so my second choice obviously would be you. Thank you. Thank you. Terry Marsh, where did she go? Oh, oh there right she here. is from Alderman Austin's office. Would you like to take your words? Oh, thank you. I'm here representing uh, 34th Ward Alderman Carrie Austin. Um, I just wanted to talk briefly about our school, Chicago Ex Excel. It's a charter school that is with alternate uh, population, and so it recognizes, I think, um, a great mixture of the young voices in our community. And so this was why we chose this particular school, because we do have a difficult time getting um, our young people um, involved in civic engagement. And so we know that after we certainly put Envision Chicago there, and they certainly have uh, hands-on experience with how government works, how the legislator is um, composed, compiled, and certainly how it um, shapes the way they live, that they will be the catalyst for engaging other young people, um, certainly in this wonderful website outreach. Thank you. Oh, sure. Hi, my name is Jim Poole. I'm the Chief of Staff for Alderman Pouar. He sends his regards. He's on his final days of paternity leave, trying to get some sleep and uh, feed the baby. Um, we are so excited to be part of this program. Lakeview High School is uh, one of Chicago's premier uh, neighborhood high schools. It is the one of the great prides of the 47th Ward, so we are happy to give them this opportunity. We are always eager to see fresh eyes and fresh legs when it comes to the municipal code, and so we're excited to see what they come forward with, and hopefully we get something that we can put in the city council and make some good change in the city. So thank you all for being here. Awesome. Okay, I think that wraps it up. Thank you for being here, and uh, let's see what you guys got. All right, that's number two time I said that. So bring it, bring your A game. All right, thank you. Thanks, We still got everyone. He's getting just a tiny, as much as you can squeeze yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suck it in. Suck it in. Sorry. All right. On the count of three, one, two, three. Awesome. All right. Looking right here for one more. Ready? One, two, and three, and one more. Fantastic. Wonderful. Okay. And then blue. And then blue right here. Twitter and green. All right. One, two, three. Awesome, thank All right, you. is that like blue yeah, or is it green? green? I think it's like blue. Okay, got it. This is the mayor that we have a business Kevin? Kevin? Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. This kind of photo. So are some uh, potential projects? Oh, yeah. Check it out. Yeah. You'll see it on our website. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. I really appreciate it. So if I want to do an intro, 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 intro